lot of you guys have been asking for the rebuild of Blackburn Rovers. And the reasoning behind it makes total sense. A side that has won the top flight championship three times already in the past and managed to win six FA Cup titles. Right now, as we speak, though, things are not looking good. Definitely not. Blackburn is in the 17th position in the championship, only two points away from teams like Stoke City who are fighting against relegation. Today, I want to bring back the Alan Shearer days of Blackburn Rovers. This team used to be winning titles, and now it is not the case. It's time to bring them back to glory. So let's take a look at the team, but not right here. We need to take a look at the actual things that are happening on the pitch. And for that, we need to scroll down here and see that Sami Schmodic, or Smodic, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing this one, he has gone ahead and gotten himself 20 goals this season. He is clearly the reason as to why this team isn't already in the relegation zone. Basically, single-handedly, he's trying to save Blackburn alongside players like Moran here who are actually quite talented. So let's take a look at them now. Moran is a center attack in midfield who I assume is playing down the wings by the looks of things here. This is a very talented one that we hopefully can keep a hold of. I don't is he like loaned out from Brighton? He might be. But this is the guy that has been carrying the squad. 27 years old from the Republic of Ireland. He is going to be someone that hopefully can shoot us up into Premier League football. But once again, I need to show you something else. Because this team has been in the championship and even dropped down to League One in the past like 10 something years. The last time they were in the Premier League, it was in the season 11 and 12. And after that, it's been years and years of just being stuck in the championship. And today we really want to end that. So if you guys are fans of Blackburn or have any idea as to why all of this has happened, why the downfall of Blackburn has come through as it has, please let me know in the comments down below. And honestly, lads, I'm so looking forward to seeing some amazing teams back in the Premier League next season. This is another topic that we probably should be getting into. As we take a look at the championship, it looks like Leicester City, Ipswich, Leeds United, Southampton, those teams could come through. If I could choose right now, I probably would desperately want to have Leicester and Leeds back in Premier League football. The third one, I don't mind who it's going to be. Ipswich clearly have done well enough to earn it this time around but Leeds and Leicester other ones I would love to have back the most let me know which ones you think could survive in the Premier League in the upcoming season so real quick let's see which players are loaned in and which ones are loaned out Lewis Travis is out on loan at Ipswich another team that is part of the same division which is interesting enough but as we go down we will look at some sad things as I expected as I remembered we do have Moran who's going to be going back to Brighton, which is a huge shame. So we're already losing out on possibly our biggest talent in the team. Is he actually the biggest one? Yes, he is. He has 80 potential. That is the highest potential we have in the squad. And he's going to be leaving us. After that, Maguire right here has been loaned in into the team. And you also have Yasin Ayari, who's also coming in from Brighton. A very bright uh, uh, Swedish talent. No pun intended with the bright stuff. But yeah, this team is going to be losing out on a couple of players, including Cometio from Liverpool as well. But apart from that, our highest potential player in the team right now that we need to build around is Dolan. This is a 21-year-old that actually has 78 potential. After him, there's a guy called Leonard who is a striker, who is like the second highest potential in the team. As usual, I've now gotten rid of everyone that was loaned into the squad. So all the Brighton talents are gone. Cometio is gone. And this is the initial team that we're going to start off with before transfers, obviously. So Leonard up top, uh, Sammy or whatever his name was in that camp position. <laughs> Smodic, I'm so sorry about mispronouncing that one. Sigurdsson on the left, Dolan on the right. To, uh, Tronstadt and Garrett in the CDM positions, Pickering, Hyam, Carter, Britton, and also Pierce, who has been the starting goalkeeper for the team so far. Now, our budget as we start off this rebuild is settled at 14 million. That is not a bad amount. Oh, I nearly forgot about checking out the Youth Academy. We do have one player who could be interesting. Danny Janssen, a Dutch right mid left wing center attacking midfielder, lots of pace on him and seemingly 
quite all right potential as well. Do we turn this guy into a beast? Do we commit to making him a great player coming through the youth academy? I think Blackburn fans would love that. Danny Janssen, you're the future of this club, mate. My first signing will be an English striker because Alan Shearer did it for Blackburn back in the day. And now I want Cameron Archer to do the same for Blackburn Rovers. This man was at Middlesbrough in the championship and managed to get 18 goals and seven assists in the championship. So right now we are bringing him in into this squad. He's currently playing at Sheffield, a team that is definitely going down into the championship next season. So I thought let's just bring him in here immediately so he can work his way back up into Premier League football and become a legend for this team he's young he is talented he just needs the right surroundings and Blackburn might just offer that to him 78 pace 71 shooting 74 dribbling four star weak foot rapid play style 21 years old five foot nine yes he is not gonna be amazing in the air like Alan Shearer used to be but hopefully he will bring in better qualities anyway so Archer you are possibly the man to take this team to the next level how about we approach this by reuniting two players that used to play with each other Archer used to be at Millsbro and this man has been there his entire life it seems like this is a very talented CDM joining us right now. Hayden Hackney is going to be part of this Blackburn Rover squad. So far in the past like year or something, he has had a bunch of injuries, but he has come back and played well and just recently got injured again. So we want to bring him into the squad and just hope that he doesn't have injury prone on him. He'll be taking over the position of Garrett. Garrett can be built up in the background and take over Tronstadt's position if, if necessary. But this man comes in with qualities in defense and also in attack. Very well-rounded, as you can immediately tell. Uh, decent in the physical department. High attacking work rate, 5 foot 10 tall. English, long ball pass, slide tackle, press proven. Those are some really good qualities for someone that plays in the CDM position. I'm delighted to have reunited him and Archer in this team now. But that's enough with Mills Pro players for now. I just felt like these were the perfect ones to bring in and fit into our budget. Now I only have like 2 million left, so I need to make sure we probably move a couple of players on. When you are playing championship football, you also need to bring in a couple of names that people have no idea about that you then turn into world-class players. Not world-class, but at least Premier League level players if possible. And this is one I have never used before. Sebastian Borza coming in from Rapid Bucaresti, I believe their team name is. And he walks straight into our starting 11. Lads, this man comes in with a 69 rating, 77 pace, 4-star weak foot, no play styles, but extremely well-rounded. Could probably play in an even atta more attacking position, which he definitely can. And he's 17, 6 foot tall, quite physical. That's the type of left back that we truly could turn into a beast. So I'm extremely excited to say he's part of Blackburn now. And I've sold a couple of players, so I have a little bit of a budget again. And now we're moving on to the right back position to a player that has become a starter at a very young age at Espanyol Barcelona as they hopefully try and reclaim their position back in La Liga. They are currently down in the second league, a uh, second division, I should say. Omar El Hilali, a Moroccan right back Morocco coming out with a lot of amazing talents lately, and this could be one of them. He's going to be joining us as a right back with a rating of 70, with lots of pace, rapid play style once again, which seems to be the play style of choice of our team. And we are looking at extremely well-rounded stats again. Passing, dribbling, defending, physicality, all good, just not able to shoot. But apart from that, six foot tall, just like our left back as well. So we're building in... Uh, we're bringing in a couple of players that can be physical if needed. And that's something I really like. So, hey, our transfer window could possibly be done. I don't know. Let me just double check because I've been involving players in these deals, making it a little bit cheaper. Ooh, still around 9 million. Okay, it's clear what I need to do. I need to bring in a top quality goalkeeper. Someone that will make a difference. How about a man that has gone ahead and led his team to the African Cup of Nations? This is Yahya Fofana, who I've had on my radar for a while. But many people didn't until 
he actually went ahead and played for the Ivory Coast in the final and also throughout the tournament of the Africa Cup of Nations. And Fofana is such a talent. In the second division of France, he managed to keep like, I think it's 10 clean sheets in the past six months already. So this is someone that you need to be aware of. This is definitely a player that I can see make a massive move in the future. So why not sign him to Blackburn and utilize his abilities to go ahead and get us back into Premier League football. Yahya Fofana might not be the highest rated one out of all of them, but it's someone that has won a huge trophy. And that could be quite useful in terms of experience to go ahead and win the championship. The time has come for Blackburn to decide where they go next season. We are looking at a team that has made it into the promotion playoff finals against Watford, another side that has Premier League experience. In the semi-finals, we have beaten Norwich, even though we lost the second game. The first one was convincing enough in a 3-0 win. And in the championship itself, we finished in the third position, just three points off of Southampton, who are going up alongside Leeds United. Congratulations to them. But our faith will be decided right now. Or faith or fate? It's fate in this case. I don't know who speaks English. I don't. Let's go ahead and see what is going to happen with our team. Can they win it? He lose on penalties. 6-5 on penalties. Carter is the one to miss. Buckley, I guess, came on as a substitute. He missed as well. That is very unfortunate. But... Let's look on the bright side. Another season in the championship, hopefully dominating, could be huge for a young team like ours. Archer on a 76, the captain on a 75 right now. See how I went around actually saying his name? We have Dolan on a 74. Janssen has gone up to a 65. By the time we get into the Premier League, he might be 70 rated, which is good. Uh, Tronstad on a 72, definitely a candidate that I want to replace next season. Hackney up to a 75. It says that he's an exciting prospect now, by the way, which is amazing. Borza, 74. El Hilali, 74. And these are the positions that I will be focusing on next season. CDM, centre-back, centre-back. Even though having said that, I believe Carter is quite young. He's only 24 at this stage. So possibly left centre-back and right CDM are the positions we're going to be looking at. Having said that, we also have Buckley here, who has been a substitute for the team and has grown nicely. 24 years old. Either we keep him on the bench or if he wants to force a move, we sell him on and make some money off of it, which is very good. And Leonard, as a backup, has gone up to a 68. So, main goal scorer, I would assume, is our striker? No, it is actually Sammy, the captain. The man who has actually done the best for the team in real life as well. It's nice to see it replicated here as well. He has 21 goals and 9 assists. So, 30 goal contributions in 50 games. That is huge. Archer coming in with 25 in 45. Borza, the left back, with 10 goals and 3 assists. That was a good signing, wasn't it? Let's get into our second season. Let's do it. So let's start at the centre-back position going into the new season. A player I didn't hear of until now, Logan Costa, who has been doing really well for Toulouse. This season, he's had a bunch of appearances and looking at his stats, this guy is a beast. And I'm talking about real life stats, not FIFA ones. So he comes into our team. It seems like I overpaid massively, but honestly, I don't care. This guy is going to come in and take over that left, that left center back position for us. Basically, no pace, but defending, physicality on point, and he is six foot two tall. And most importantly, he is from Cap Verde, which makes him a very special player with instant effect. So, he is the one for the centre back spot. I still have enough cash for the CDM position. I was actually given a budget of around 20 million, so this is going to be a big one. You naughty, naughty. If you want to learn how to defend, you have to go to the Serie A and Italy to find yourself some unbelievable players. So we are going in and getting ourselves Matteo Prati, who is someone with very high potential. Tronstadt plus 8.6 million. Price rating is an A. Oh, let's go. He comes in at a 75, same exact rating as Hackney. Not as good moving forward, still not terrible, 
like more focused on the defensive side of the game. No play styles on him yet. Six foot one tall, 20 years old as he joins us right here. I believe this is going to be the signing that makes the biggest difference for this team. We're going to move up into Premier League football with this man leading the line in terms of the first one to start defending in this team and get things done for us and prevent goals from going in. So, Prati, appreciate you coming in, pal. Now, the rest of the team is ready. Premier League football has to come. As expected, this season has gone much better. 96 points on Blackburn Rovers, and that means we're going up alongside another former Premier League team and a Premier League winning team, Leicester City. What a story that was, wasn't it? N'Golo Kante, Riyad Mahrez, Jamie Vardy, freaking Danny Drinkwater, mate. It was unreal. I, man, that, I miss that. I really do. Do you think, do you think it's going to ever happen again where a team that no one expects to win it actually goes ahead and does it? I feel like those times might be gone. If Pep Guardiola also leaves anytime soon after Klopp leaves, maybe there's a chance? I don't know. Let's go ahead and take a look into the individual stats of our players. First of all, the overalls. How are we looking? Archer, 80. Sammy, up to a 79. Dolan, 79. Let's go. Janzin now on a 70. He will be our lowest rated player for a while, but the kid is only 17 years old and I am backing him all the freaking way. He's our academy talent. Prati up to a 79. Hackney, 80 rated. Looking incredibly solid in so many areas. Borza, 80, by the way, all of a sudden has potential to be special after his first season. So I, <laughs> I rate that a lot. Uh, we have Costa on a 76, Carter on a 75, which probably is the position I'm going to be focusing on the most as we go into the Premier League and get a bunch of money. And then we have El Hilali on a 78, Fofana 78. Our bench is terrible. It is not Premier League level. Do I care? No. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look at this. Archer, 26 and 3. Amazing season. Sammy again. I mean, he's 29 years old, but man, he is doing bits. And he has grown nicely as well because of his incredible performances. So I think I'm going to keep him for the next year. At some point, I will have to move him on. But one season in the Premier League is something that he definitely deserves. He's carrying the squad in real life. So let's make sure that we honor him the right way. Prati, look at that. I told you this guy would have an impact on defense, but he goes out and gets 21 goal contributions from the CDM position. I'm impressed, buddy. Let's get into the Premier League. Since everything worked out so well with Prati, I thought let's get in another Italian defender. This is Scalvini. A lot of people don't know of him yet. A lot of people know him just because of FIFA or FC24. But generally speaking, this guy is supposed to be the next big thing after the likes of like Bastoni, who have already established themselves in the Serie A and now on the international stage as well. Scalvini is the next one in line. This guy is such a talent. Honestly, I cannot wait to see where he goes. He's currently at Atalanta, as you guys might know. But this is one that all the big Italian teams want to sign. But they're not the only ones. There's a lot of teams out there that want to go ahead and sign this young man into their team from the Premier League, La Liga, from the Bundesliga as well. So let's see how it goes for him. I'm excited to see his journey. But for now, he is part of the Blackburn journey and he cost us 40 million. And I think I overpaid, but... Who cares? Blackburn back in Premier League football in our first season. We survived. And that's all I care about. 42 points for us as Everton Brighton. Wow, Brighton. And Sheffield go down. Leicester, Leeds United and ourselves have survived up here. And we see Manchester City at the top. Of course we do. But let's go ahead and take a look into our team and how things have developed. Janssen up to a 75. There we go. All the trust that I'm putting into this kid is paying off. Every single season, it seems like he's going up a plus five. I wish it was plus seven, to be honest, but it's not getting there. Sammy, this guy, just because of performances, he's gone up to an 82. What a legend. He only has 74 shooting now. I wonder... How he actually scores all those goals? Is he like taking penalties? No, he doesn't. Archer, 84 rated. Dolan, 84. Hackney and Prati looking solid. Scalvini immediately involving himself here with the team. He has a five-star weak foot now, so he can go into the left center-back position. Forza looking exceptional. El Hilali growing nicely. 
our goalkeeper up to an 83. So things are looking very good right now. As we progress into the next season, I will be expecting a higher positioning. I want top 10 football. And if possible, I think a conference league spot should be something we definitely aim for. So here we go. Goals, of course. It's the man from Ireland who seems to have a Polish name. He has done really well here, 17 and nine. And then our right midfielder, Danny Janssen, the kid from the Youth Academy, has 15 goals and four assists. What a debut season that is for him. Dolan, the original as well, coming in with 10 and eight. This squad is getting absolutely carried by the originals in the Premier League, which is something we love to see as we go into the next year where I will have a bunch of money, but I wonder where to spend it. Honestly, maybe a new cam? Is it time to bring in someone he's 30? I can still give him time. If he doesn't grow next season, I might have to get a replacement, but it's been so fun to have him in this team for so long. Season's done and Blackburn have not gotten Conference League, not Europa League, it's Champions League football thanks to finishing third with 73 points. Only seven losses on our record. Blackburn going towards that trophy that they have won multiple times in the past. And now it's seeming like it's close in the future. Now we have Archer on an 88, Sammy on an 83. It's time to drop him. Only grown by plus one, 31 years old. He will not be dropped though. I will be putting him onto the bench for as long as I can. Dolan 87, Janssen now past that 80. Prati and Hackney looking like an incredible partnership. El Hilali and Borza just carrying those fullback positions with excellence. And our defenders look ever so solid as well. Fofana on an 86, which is lovely. This team is ready for Champions League football. And next season, I'm going to be spending a huge amount of money in his position. 22 goals, 4 assists from Sami. He has done everything he can to take Blackburn to where they are right now. Let's make sure that all of the work that he has done is not going wasted. One of the best players in the ADVC last season. One of the best players in the Bundesliga this season. It is Xavi Simmons that I am going for because truly his ability has been incredible in the past years. I think not enough people actually show him the props he deserves. In the Bundesliga, everyone talks about Musiala, everyone talks about Florian Wirtz, but genuinely speaking, the impact that Xavi Simmons has had on the Leipzig team, getting the goals and assists he has, he has gotten, has been so impressive. Like, seemingly progressing from the Eredivisie into the Bundesliga, and potentially even getting better. It's just such a joy to watch. And after Mbappe leaves PSG, he will be returning to PSG, which makes me wonder if there is a spot for him in that team where he can go ahead and continue to dominate in a different league once again, or if he's actually looking to join into a team that will hold on to him for a long time and give him that playtime that he wants alongside trophies that mean something. So Xavi Simmons now is going to be the center attack in midfielder. Sammy, thank you for everything you've done, but we do need to step up in that uh, position. 89 rated, such a talented player. I think this is a huge signing for our team right now. So I was just gone enjoying a little bit of snacks and I let the season run through. Well, let me show you what happened. We are looking at a Blackburn side who have made it into the FA Cup final against Spurs. In the Premier League, finally, Blackburn is at the top with 86 points. It's been done again after so many years. Blackburn Rovers are winning the Premier League title. This is immense. And Spurs is coming in second, which shows us that that FA Cup game will not be an easy one. So let's see if we can grab that one against Spurs right now. They're coming. Darwin plays for Spurs. I'm so upset. Robertson as well? What the? Okay. Okay. I want to win this game so badly. Please, guys, crush him. They are traitors. 2-1. Dolan with the two goals. The left midfielder steps up. Spurs are sent home crying. But that's not it. That is not all. We have won the Prem and the FA Cup. 
which is amazing. Well, let me show you something else. See the background change? Champions League final. Yes, we have made it there. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. So, round of 16, we uh, were losing against Erzrama. Still made it through on aggregate. 4-3 there, which is amazing. Quarterfinals, we end up playing against... Where are we? Oh, Paris Saint-Germain. So that is a 2-0 win against them after having lost initially. Actually, no. Yeah, yeah. 2-1 loss initially. That's fine. And then in the semi-finals, we beat Real Madrid 4-3. I mean, it's been a tough ride, but it worked out. To now play against Napoli, this is now the opportunity for these guys to become immortal for the likes of Blackburn fans. So Archer on the 91, Xavi Simmons 91, Janzin, our youth academy kid, He's now 87 rated. Prati and Hackney have done an incredible job at CDM. Dolan on an 89. As you saw, he won us that trophy just now. Borza, Scalvini, Costa and El Hilali looking solid as ever. And Fofana on an 89 rating with Sammy still on the bench. And I will be subbing him in into the Champions League final because he truly deserves it. Now, stats wise real quick. Dolan 33 and 12. Every single season, I feel like the originals of this squad have carried this team. At first, it was Sammy all the time, and now it's Dolan, which is amazing. Archer with 29-2. Xavi Simmons, good first season. Janssen, great job on that right-hand side. And Sammy off the bench, 15-5. This guy is such a legend. I'm so happy that he's still here. We're going to be using him now and the rest of the team. Going into the battle against Napoli, lads. Let's do this. We have done an incredible job to build that team right there. So many talents being brought together. So many originals have had a huge impact on everything. And now it's time to close down the treble. Yes, two titles are in the bag already. Let's get the thirds and make sure this Blackburn rebuild is one to remember. Oh, no. They're actually going through for Fana. My man, let's go. Uh-oh. I'll let him run through like that. For Fana once more. Steps up when I need him the most. I'm already extremely thankful to him. Dolan, what a small player. I didn't realize he was that small, but here we go. Off to our first chance. Down the right with El Hilali. Our right back is a big one. Brings the crossing. A beautiful header. Results in the first goal. Archer scores with a header like Shearer back in the day. That is a sign. An English striker of the now doing exactly what an incredible English striker did back then. Take a look at that. El Hilali's cross is perfection. The header, honestly, is unreal. Nah, that's not a good steal. At least I wanted it. And I actually have to admit, I didn't even look into Napoli's team. Who is that? Raspadori. A very capable player. And there we go. We do step in after all. I need to see Napoli's team. I honestly did not check it out at all. So performance-wise, let's go in there and switch across to Napoli. Quaradona, Raspadori, Ngong, okay. Party, Fermirin, Ruben Neves. Cucurella, Fofana, Konate, Rico Lewis, and Meret in goal. Impressive. Oh, I thought I had him there for a second, but I guess I didn't. They're inside again. Yes, bro. Oh, no, no, no. No, don't do that. Fofana, thank you. I'm sorry for being stupid at the back there. Beautiful header. Down the right. Ilali into Janssen. Xavi Simmons asking for it. Receives the ball. Dribbles. Shoots outside of the boot. It was impressive, wasn't it? If you say so. All right, I'm going to do something here that I didn't see coming as well, but I'm changing the formation. I'm going 4-5-1 just so I can play Sammy. We are in the 70th minute. Prati, thank you for everything you've done. Actually, I could put him into center back. Yeah, I'm going to put him into center back. Let's do that. He could probably do better there. So let's see how we do in the next 20 minutes. Can Sammy step up and do something? He gets the captain's armband immediately. If I can get the ball here, it could be huge. Archer making a run. Sammy plays him through. Sammy to get an assist in the Champions League final. Yes, he does. <laughs> let's go. Sammy gets his assist. His moment in the Champions League final has come. This is incredible stuff. 
This is the story you tell your kids, you know? Beautiful. Oh, a mistake has been made. Can I do something fancy? I love it. Yes, of course I can. Of course I can. They're falling apart. And Archer has a hat trick in a Champions League final. Let's put a bit more value on that as well. This guy has decided everything by himself. Make a run. Dolan. Sammy. Is he through? Janssen plays him through. Sammy has that rapid play style, doesn't he? He's utilizing it to his advantage right now. There's too many players. There's just too many players. I don't know what to do. He's still holding on to it. <laughs> what is happening here? How is he doing this? Oh my God. They've actually fallen apart. Napoli has given up. It initially started off with us struggling. Fofana keeping on saving us. And now it's done. This trophy belongs to Blackburn. I swear to God, this was played on ultimate difficulty. I ain't joking. I never chased my difficulty, never will. This was so impressive. And it's so fitting that Sammy is the one to lift the trophy. The man who is currently trying his best to make sure Blackburn does not go down into League One. Now is the one lifting the trophy, sealing off the treble for Blackburn. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I had a ton of fun recording this one. Let me know which team I should be doing next in the comments down below. Take care and peace.